Welcome to this GE Healthcare educational series on indirect calorimetry. This measurement is part of the GE Healthcare monitoring solutions and respiratory portfolio. Indirect calorimetry relates to the measurement of pulmonary gas exchange and the quantification of metabolic needs to support clinicians in defining the nutritional requirements of critically ill patients. In this first video, we will be covering the physiology of metabolism, gas exchange, and the fundamentals of indirect calorimetry. Let's get started. Aerobic metabolism is the efficient mechanism used by the body to convert food energy into energy easily used as fuel for vital activities. Human metabolism and tissue state of health is highly dependent on O2 consumption and CO2 elimination. Changes in oxygen consumption, VO2, reflect changes in metabolism at the tissue level and or the macronutrient mix of the patient. Oxygen balance is the amount of O2 delivered to the tissue. Oxygen consumption reflects the amount of oxygen consumed by the tissue via the lungs, prior to the blood returning to the heart for another cycle of contraction. When oxygen delivery fails to meet oxygen consumption, then oxygen debt develops. CO2 production, VCO2, is dependent upon adequacy of alveolar ventilation. Alveolar ventilation indicates the optimal balance and airflow within the alveoli. Any acute change in alveolar ventilation will affect partial pressure measurements of O2 and CO2. Therefore, O2 consumption and CO2 production measurements via continuous monitoring are key for extracting information concerning the critically ill patients in order to optimize lung ventilation and assess nutritional requirements. Indirect calorimetry combines respiratory gas exchange measurements with quantification of cellular metabolism. It is based on the premise that gas volumes and concentration exchanged at the mouth reflect cellular metabolic activity. Indirect calorimetry calculates the total energy expenditure and the respiratory quotient by measuring O2 consumption and CO2 production. Resting energy expenditure is the amount of calories a patient consumes at rest. REE gives an indication of the nutrition needs of the patient and is based on the abbreviated VIR equation. Respiratory quotient reflects which of the three fuels, protein, carbohydrates, or fat, is primarily being used to supply the energy the patient requires. Indirect calorimetry measurements should be done when the patient is in a steady state. Steady state is when O2 consumption and CO2 elimination measured at the mouth equals CO2 elimination and O2 consumption at the cellular level. Measurements for indirect calorimetry should be obtained following a steady state of VO2 and VCO2 measurements with less than 5% of coefficient of variation for 10 minutes or greater and at a time when there is the least amount of patient stimuli. Aspen and Espen societies suggest indirect calorimetry as the gold standard to personalize the prescription of nutrition support to the metabolic needs and promote a better clinical outcome for the critically ill patients. Thank you for watching this video series on indirect calorimetry. In the next video, we will talk about the GE Healthcare Indirect Calorimetry Module Setup, Sensor Placement, Cleaning, and Disinfection.